Hello, thank you so much for joining me here today. We're here to talk about the City of Canandaigua's Community Choice Aggregation Program. So my name is Shannon Bellamy. I am here with Jewel Community Power. Jewel is the City's Community Choice Aggregation Program Administrator. And today we're here to talk about the launch of the new program offerings. So as you may have seen, the City of Canandaigua has selected 100% renewable electricity supply as the new default for residents and small businesses in the city. This program is coming soon. It is launching in September, and we are very excited to share with you the new program offerings. But first, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the letter that you likely received. So this is the letter that we sent to all eligible residents and small businesses in the city who are set to be enrolled in the new product offering. So this letter includes information about the program, including the pro program offerings and ways to change your enrollment. I do know that this letter only went out to eligible residents, so you may have received a letter, but your may neighbor may not have, and that's completely okay. So if you haven't received your letter yet, do know that we believe that they were impacted by some of the flooding in other areas of the state when they were sent out, so hopefully they should be landing soon. But these are the letters to look out for. Um, one thing to note is that the gateway community power that you see there, that is the name of the city of Canandaigua's aggregation. So Gateway Community Power also includes other municipalities as an aggregation. But this program is specifically available to the city of Canandaigua. Okay, so now that we've discussed the letter and announced the new program start, um, I want to talk a little bit more about community choice aggregation and how this program impacts you. So in this presentation, I'll give a little bit of a background on the program, discuss the benefits of community choice aggregation, um, discuss how this program impacts your bill, the role of the utility, how the enrollment works and how this program might impact you, next steps for the program, and then some frequently asked questions. Okay, so community choice aggregation or CCA for short, is an energy purchase program that was authorized by the New York State Public Service Commission back in April of 2016 after a very successful pilot in Westchester County. So since that pilot, that same program has grown significantly and more community choice aggregation programs across the state have started to pop up, including in our region. So the city of Rochester, for example, is the largest community choice aggregation program in the state. And there are several other smaller ones across our region, the Genesee Finger Lakes region as well. But so what is the program? Community choice aggregation allows communities to aggregate the buying power of their residents and small businesses to negotiate for a bulk purchase of electricity. So this allows the community to get together to have more say over the electricity that we as a community purchase. So what does that mean exactly? So how this program works is it switches the default electricity supply from the state or the utility, Rochester Gas and Electric, rg &E, to the city of Canandaigua's community choice aggregation program. So to give a little bit more context on that, right now, if you sign up for electricity, say you just got a new house or opened a new office, if you don't make a selection for a supplier, so if you don't find your own supplier with a supply contract, then you would be placed into the utilities default variable rate program. So what this means is that the utility would go out and purchase electricity from a third party supplier on your behalf and just pass those charges over to you. The problem with this is you don't know where your money is going and you don't know the rate that you're being charged because it's a variable rate, it changes every month. And so it's really hard to know what you're paying for electricity supply until you get your bill. And that makes it hard to budget. Um, so this program is different. Instead of going into the variable rate through the utility, all eligible residents and small businesses are placed into the community choice aggregation program by default. However, it's important to note that this is an optional program 
and you are able to change your enrollment or leave or opt out of the program at any point in time. So it just replaces the default to the community's new default. So for all new residents or small businesses, instead of going on to the variable rate with the utility, they'd go on to the community choice aggregation program. And for all those who are currently without a supplier going through that variable rate and who are eligible, which we'll talk about in a moment, would be switched over to the community choice aggregation program. Um, and one of the biggest benefits of this is the community choice aggregation program offers a competitive fixed rate for renewable electricity supply. So instead of paying for the variable rate from the utility that is a fossil fuel mix, you instead pay a fixed rate for 100% renewable electricity that was generated right here in New York. Okay, so that is the difference. But now let's get a little bit more into electricity supply, make sure we're all on the same page there. So when we talk about electricity supply, we're talking about the actual electricity that you use in your home or business. So this is charged at a per kilowatt hour rate or, or tracked at a per kilowatt hour rate and is referring to the actual electricity that you use. Now, through the Community Choice Aggregation Program, you also have the option of supporting New York State Renewable Generation through participating in this program. But to take a quick step back, let's take a look at a typical utility bill. So this is page three of a Rochester Gas and Electric or RG&E utility bill. And there's a few things that I want to point out just to make sure we're all aware of. So first, when you're looking at your bill, you'll see a table up there towards the top. This includes all of your meter information, including your meter number when it was read last and most recently, the build usage and the billing period. So this is always good to look at when you're getting your meter read and tracking your usage. You can always look at your build usage for the billing period to figure out how much electricity was used. So going below that, we then have the electricity delivery charges. These are the charges that you are charged for being a customer of the utility or for being on the grid. So these charges go towards the utility for their services. So meter reads, uh, maintaining the lines, billing customers, customer service, all of their operations, they get paid through the delivery charges portion of the bill. And how they do that is they take your usage and multiply it by rates to get your overall charge for delivery. So unfortunately, those charges remain the same. This program does not change that at all. You will always have both delivery and supply charges. That does not change. Um, but then going on to electricity supply charges. So this is what the program impacts. This is the actual electricity that you use. So in this example, you see this customer is part of a variable supply program. So that means that they did not select a supplier and the utility is purchasing electricity on their behalf. You see that they take their usage and multiply it by a rate. That's a variable rate, meaning each month that rate will change. You also see that there's some merchant function charges for each month of this bill. That is the charge that the utility gives you for finding an electricity supplier on your behalf. So if you don't make a selection, they go out and purchase electricity for you and they just pass along a small charge for that service. So that's the difference between electricity delivery and supply. But the important thing to note is with this program, this section actually changes on your bill. So with the CCA, you still only have one bill to pay. It's just your utility bill, but the supply section changes. So it's going to move towards the end of the bill. It'll go out of this kind of rg &E section and will be in its own section. It'll have the name of the new supplier and it'll have a fixed rate, the program's fixed rate. So those are the only changes to your bill, and it's only one bill. It's just this electricity supply section of the bill. Okay, so that's how that's what community choice aggregation is, and that's how it works. So it's an electricity supply purchase program where you aggregate the buying power of residents and small businesses to negotiate for better terms. So in this case, a fixed rate, 100% New York State renewable electricity supply product. 
all on the same bill. So that being said, we just went over the difference between delivery and supply. So because you still are part of the grid, you're still with the utility, you're still with rg and &E, so their role does not change. They'll still deliver your electricity, repair and maintain lines, bill you, do your meter reads, help you out with any questions or concerns. You still have complete access to the utility and all of the services that they offer. So your relationship does not change at all. It's only where you are getting your electricity from that is changing, where the actual money is going towards. So that's what the program is and how it impacts your bill. But now let's talk a little bit about why the city of Canandaigua has a community choice aggregation program. So one of the biggest ones is to help accelerate the transition to renewable energy. New York State has very progressive clean energy goals and the city of Canandaigua is trying to support the state's goals in supporting renewable energy. It also supports New York State renewable energy, which means that that money is going back into the New York State economy and supporting others in our area. It also offers fixed competitive rates. So in the past, people have been frustrated by the variable rate going up and down as the electricity market changes. And they've realized that there's benefits to having a fixed rate and knowing what your rate is going to be month in and month out. So those are two things that residents and small businesses have advocated to the city for, is for renewable energy and fixed rates. And additionally, these programs also offer stronger consumer protection because the terms of the electricity supply contract are dictated by the program versus the other way around. So if you wanted, without this program, if you wanted renewable energy or a fixed rate, you would have to to sign a contract with a third-party electricity supplier, also known as an ESCO, and there's a little bit of risk associated with that. You'd have to read the fine print, you have to avoid exit fees, um, teaser rates, all of these kinds of things, and that can be a barrier for some people to get these different electricity products. So instead, with the Community Choice Aggregation Program, the suppliers are meeting the community's demands rather than the other way around. So you have a little bit added protection and more safety. Additionally, there are never any program fees or exit fees or cost charges to participate. It's a free program to participate. All you pay is your electricity supply rate. And additionally, it's just another choice that we have for electricity. So it's something that we all pay for. We might as well explore all of the different options to try to make the most out of where we spend our money. Additionally, it also helps support the local community by aggregating everyone together. We're able to access better rates than we could as an individual. So it helps support the city of Rochester collectively um, through that bulk buying strategy. Also, as I said, the fixed rates help prevent price volatility. So with a variable rate, the rate will go up and down throughout the year as the market changes. A fixed rate remains the same throughout the entire term of the contract or throughout the entire duration of the program. And it also helps the, accelerate the transition to renewable energy. So lots of good benefits as just another option for electricity supply for the city. Okay, so one thing that's important to know about community choice aggregation is that as the new default, those who are eligible are automatically enrolled into the program. So just like when you signed up for electricity, if you didn't make a selection and you were put into the variable utility program, you are now instead put into the communities program. And most residents and small businesses are eligible to participate. Please know that anyone can opt out or leave the program or change their enrollment at any time throughout the duration of the program. It is completely your choice to, to participate or not. So that being said, let's talk a little bit about the electricity supply offerings. So the city went out to bid. There was a competitive bidding process for an electricity supplier to provide renewable electricity at a fixed rate. 
And this is the best offering that was available to the city of Canandaigua. So the winning supplier was Constellation New Energy. That's the name of the electricity supplier. They are a supplier for other community choice aggregation programs in the region and have a lot of experience in running supply for community choice aggregation programs. So we're very confident in them as a supplier. Additionally, this contract is for 27 months, so it begins in September and runs until November of 2025 and offers fixed rates. So as you can see here, the residential default is 10.053 uh, cents per kilowatt hour, so a little over 10 cents per kilowatt hour. For 100% New York State renewable electricity, this rate is fixed for the next 27 months. So these rates will always be available to you for the duration of the program. You do have other options, though. You could switch down to 50% renewable. So that means 50% New York State renewable and 50% New York uh, national renewable. So some of that's coming from New York State. Some of it's coming from other places in the country. And then standard supply. So this is going to be a fossil fuel mix. It's going to be a little bit cheaper as it doesn't feature renewable electricity or is not primarily renewable electricity. But all three of these products will be available for you for the duration of the program. So you have the option to choose which you'd like. But if you do nothing, the default is that bottom one, the 100% renewable as the default. And there's slightly different rates for residential and small commercial. Okay, this is also included in the letter that you would received if you're eligible. Now, you may have seen in that last table that these said without GRT. So GRT is gross receipts tax, and it's a tax that the city has on utilities. It has nothing to do with this program. That tax has been around for a while and will likely continue to be here. It's just a tax on your electricity supply. So do know that right now, when the program launches, the GRT, the gross receipts tax, will be included into the rate that you see. So instead of being the 10.053, you would instead have this next one, 10.155. So 10 cents and 155 uh, cents per kilowatt hour. So that's as of right now, they're going to be combined. However, in the near future, we're going to be breaking out the gross receipts tax into a separate line item so that it's easier to see. And then you'll see the rate switch over to the rate that we're familiar with, that 10.053. So just know that if you see either of those two rates, they are correct. One just includes the taxes in one line. The other one has the taxes broken out separately. And again, those taxes are not associated with the program. They're just an existing tax on your bills. Okay, so we mentioned that most residents and small businesses are eligible and should have received the letter. However, there are some who are not automatically eligible or not eligible for the automatic enrollment, and those are these groups of people. So one, if you've already selected a supplier or have a contract with an ESCO, third-party supplier, then you would not be enrolled into this program. You can, however, join the program if you'd like to leave your supplier, but you would not be automatically enrolled. Next, customers that are billed on demand or have large electricity usage, those typically aren't automatically enrolled. Customers that have a block on their account, home energy assistance program or HEAP recipients, and time of use accounts. So if you are one of those, then you likely did not receive a letter, and it's because you're not going to be switched over. Um, but everyone else should have received a letter and should be eligible for the automatic enrollment coming in September. So all who are eligible once the program launches would be automatically switched into this electricity supply program, unless if you choose not to participate, you do have the option to leave the program or opt out before it ever even starts. 
So it's an option that you have to leave pr the program ahead of time. Speaking of which, you do have options to opt out. So in that letter that you received, you also received a small card that looks something like this. This is our opt out card and you can fill it out if you do not want to participate in the program at all. So all you would need to do is date it, check the box on the right to tell us why you're leaving the program if you'd like, and then put it in the prepaid envelope that came in your letter and send it back and we'll opt you out of the program before it ever even launches. Alternatively, you can also call us go on, or go online and fill out our enrollment change form to opt out of the program or to change your enrollment, say if you wanted the 50% renewable or the standard supply option. So you have multiple ways of opting out or changing your enrollment should you wish to. If you want to stay in the program and stay with the 100% renewable, then you don't have to do anything. You will be automatically transitioned over and you will receive a notice from Rochester Gas and Electric from RG&E when that is shifting over on your account. So you'll be notified. All right, so right now we are in that opt-out period. We're in a month-long period where people are receiving the letters and learning about continuing to learn about the program. And you all have until August 8th to leave the program before it ever even starts if you'd like. So the program after August 8th will be launching. Um, so you'd need to opt out before August 8th if you never want to participate. You can still opt out at any time after that without any fees or penalties, but do know you'd probably be included in the first billing cycle or two if you don't opt out ahead of time. Um, next, after your meter read, after September 1st, you'll see the new program rate and the changes that we discussed on your bill. So that supply section will move. You'll see Constellation, the new supplier, and you'll see that fixed rate on your bill. So those are the only changes to your bill. All right, so now I'm gonna cover a few of these frequently asked questions. Um, some of them I have touched on, but do know that we get asked them a lot. So I just wanna make sure I can reiterate them. One, does this program replace my utility company? So RG&E, and the answer to that is no. You can continue to pay your utility bill with just that one little change. And your utility, RG&E, remains responsible for the delivery and maintenance of the grid. So if you have um, a power outage, say a tree fell over and knocked out a power line, if you need your meter read, if you have questions about your bill, you can always still call RG&E. They're still there to serve you just as they do now. So your relationship with utility does not change. Additionally, this program does not impact the reliability of your electricity at all. So you'll not experience any blackouts or loss of power as a result of participating in this program. So no worries there. Next, it's important to note that this is not a guaranteed savings program. So while these programs do have the ability to offer competitive fixed rates, they are not guaranteed to always be lower than the alternatives. So it is not a guaranteed savings program. However, in the previous iteration of this program, there were significant savings for the community. And we do hope that these rates continue to be competitive with utility rate, specifically over the next 27 months, the duration of this program. And then what if you wanted to change your supply choice? So once the program launches or even before, you can either call our helpline or fill out our enrollment change form online to, ch to either change your option, so what supply you want, to leave the program or to rejoin the program if you've left. So you can leave and rejoin um, and vice versa. So it's completely your option and you can come in and out of the program if you'd like. There are never any fees or penalties for participating or for leaving. The only thing you pay is the rate that is on your bill, that fixed rate. And you do not have to stay in the program the entire time. So I just want to reiterate this. You are able to leave the program and change your enrollment at any time. 
Just know that if you would like to leave the program, it's best and easiest to do that before August 8th, which is when you would start being enrolled, your account would start being enrolled with utility. And then you can participate if you have your own solar or if you participate in community solar. So yes, you can support both solar and the renewable energy associated with this program. They operate differently on the bill, so you can still get your solar credits and participate in this program. They work a little bit differently, um, but yes, you, they work very well together, so no worries there either. And then what happens after the program ends? So this contract is for 27 months. After that, the city will either have the choice to go back out to bid and find a new electricity supply contract, or if they choose to end the program, then you'd be switched back to our genie's variable supply and you'd be notified when that's going to happen. So there's a few options there, but we'll notify you when the program is ending and what's happening next. Okay, and then here is our contact information. We have a call center that you can call and ask any questions or change your enrollment. Um, and our number is 585-244-0244. The email address is info at gatewaycommunitypower.com. And we also have a website, gatewaycommunitypower.com, that has program information, articles, all of that, the enrollment change form. Lots of good resources are available there. But please, if you have questions about your eligibility, about the letter, about the option that's best for you, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll be able to give you more information and help you make the right choice for you. But aside from that, thank you so much for attending this and watching this presentation. Please let us know if you have any questions and have a great day.